Hello everyone, I'm Katrina and today I have my unboxing for the December Fairy Loot box. If you're not aware, Fairy Loot is a monthly subscription service wherein you receive one new release book as well as a bunch of other goodies all pertaining to a theme. And Fairy Loot was kind enough to send me this box, so thank you so much Fairy Loot. And I also have a coupon code for you guys for 5% off a 3 or 6 month subscription. The code is LITTLEBOOKOWL and I will have a link down below to the website if you're interested in checking out Fairy Loot, getting a little more information, all that jazz. But now, let's Let's get to the unboxing. It's currently the middle of the night and I'm waiting for my Panadol to kick in because I've got a raging headache but I thought it would be a good time to film a video right now so I'm going ahead with it. So I apologize in advance for any anything in this video. I apologize. Just whatever happens. Ooh. So first and foremost, oh we've got a fun item right here but I'll just I'll get to that in just a moment. First and foremost we have the content card which always has a really nice illustration on this side and on the back it has all of the goodies that are included in here so spoilers for what's included and the theme for this month is oh so regal. Oh gosh oh, I'm so excited. A Disney pop Funko of Pocahontas. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh she's so cute. I love it. Included in all of the fairy loot boxes there was a choice between Simba, Rapunzel, Pocahontas, Ariel, Jasmine or Tiana which is very cool. So this is the one I got obviously. If any of you guys got this fairy loot box I would also love to know which figurine you got. We also have this pencil case that says virtuous and fair, royal and gracious, William Shakespeare which is quite a nice design quite like that. Very cute. There's also a candle which is made by A Court of Candles. It is exclusive to Fairy Loot and the scent is called Prince Aladdin which I love. The actual scent is Egyptian Amber and Treasure. What does Treasure smell like? Ooh, I really really like that. Ooh, you can definitely smell that Egyptian Amber. That's really nice. There's also this little notebook made by Stella's Bookish Art and on the front it says to look powerful is to be powerful. Victoria Aveyard. I haven't actually read the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard but I do really like this notebook. It's very cool. I like the design. There's also a bookmark which on one side says a storm is coming, war storm and on the back it has um, the pack shots of all the other books in the Red Queen series. <gasps> Oh my god, this is so cute! We have a little keychain that on it says books rule and it's just like a stack of books with a crown on it. I really like that. It's got the purple background as well. Purple is my favourite colour. Also included is this chapter sampler for Rose Marked by Livia Blackburn. I think this one came out in November. Also quite a cool cover here. I don't think I've actually heard anything about Rose Marked so if any of you guys have already picked this one up or know a little more about it would definitely be curious to hear your thoughts on it. We're now down to the last item included in this box which is the book as well as all the other swaggy stuff as well so let's see which book we received this month. <gasps> oh yes! Oh my gosh okay so hold on. <laughs> This month we received Everless by Sarah Holland and I've been seeing this book floating around on social media. It looks kind of cool. I'm not actually sure what it's about but I don't know. It's just been really intriguing me. I think I've just been really drawn into the cover. So again, if any of you guys have read this, let me know your thoughts on it. I do like the inside papers here. That is very cool. Oh, this sounds interesting. Okay, from what I can gather, time is used as a currency almost. It says hours, days and years are able to be extracted from blood and bound to iron coins. So they're literally used as kind of this currency. That sounds really fascinating. And I think the main character, Jules, her and her father are kind of quite poor and running low on hours so I think that in order to stop her father from kind of draining himself she takes on a job at this estate for a cruel family or some sort. This sounds like a really interesting book with a unique kind of world going on here so looking forward to getting to that. But of course that is not all. Also included we have the fairy loot bookmark which does feature the content card illustration, a letter from the author and a signed book plate. I also really like when the book plates actually come with kind of an illustration or something that matches the cover. I find that to be a really cool touch. And of course fairy scoop which does include a Q&A with the author as well as talking a little bit about the theme for January. So the theme for next month is talk fairy to me. I think it's going to have some items inspired by the throne of glass and a court of thorns and roses series and one of the sneak peeks is that there's going to be a pillowcase designed by Evie Bookish. I love her designs so 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 much so I'm really excited about that. This is it. This is everything that was included in the December fairy loot box. Thank you once again fairy loot for sending this box my way and thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon with a new video but until then I will talk to you in the comments.
Bye!